What's going on YouTube? This is Michael Davis, MCD Reptiles. I'm here at my uh, at my city's uh, Reptilian Nation Reptile Expo. We're going to be going inside taking a look at some reptiles. So uh, bear with me. On this one.
normal, so that's what I have. A real pretty one. Orange ghost. Once again, it's uh, Michael Davis back again, guys. Hey, um, anyways, you only got to see part of the reptile show because my because my camera decided it was gonna put out. So tomorrow, when I wake up in the morning, we're going back there. And we're gonna continue filming the rest of it. So uh, bear with me on that one. And this is probably gonna be a little bit longer video than I thought it was gonna be. So uh, yeah. So tomorrow morning, we're going back to the reptile show. We're gonna show you all the stuff that I got to see yesterday. We're gonna go back to every single booth I went to. So uh, please enjoy it on that one, guys. All right. So once again, so. Uh, so we'll be uh, so we'll be back, all right. We'll we'll be going back to that tomorrow. So in the morning. So all right. So see hey, ya. What's up, YouTube? Michael Davis here, MCD Reptiles. Uh, we're back at the Reptile Expo, like I said I would. Uh, so we're gonna get in here and we're gonna uh, go look at some more reptiles. And uh, you guys get to see a lot more than what I videotaped yesterday. All right. All right. I wanna say hi to Brett. <laughs> so all right. So we'll see. Trey Beck from 
YouTube and all that, and he has a bunch of tokays, and every time he puts his camera in the case, yeah. they're striking at the camera, it's so funny. until like I was three. <laughs> oh, that's the one thing I don't want to buy a snake that small because if it gets loose I'll go where is it? <laughs> I can't find it. <laughs> They're cute though. Are they breathing now? Yeah. Ow. There's air holes on the sides. Uh, See like 15 dollars? 15 bucks for the burger snake. How big is it? It get pretty long. How big does that gardener snake get? Six feet? Four feet? I think I've seen, I think I've seen a rarity of those though. A rarity one I saw one time. I was seeing a rarity in the wild. Uh-huh. Where it was nine or four foot. It was like six foot long. Yeah. <laughs> So that one's getting all bitey. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so pretty, dude. This is the soil. Where is it from? It's for the, this. Their uh, substrate, dude. Huh? Where does it say these touch? So that you know what it feels like? If you want to buy it? No, no, no. Oh, that's, no. that's a cool little camera, dude. We got a little camera. Yeah. So, uh, over there? That's the venomous guy over there. Yeah, yeah he's got the venomous snakes. Check it out. That's the answer word, huh? No. He's been doing it for 30 years, dude.
the name again? It's a Musarana. Musarana. Yeah, they're, like I said, on Tom. Not very many people produce them anymore. Docile snake. Oh, hey, you guys show the fangs? Wow. So, how's that for docile? What the? So hey. the little purple spots are the fangs. He doesn't though. care. Oh my god. So, <laughs> docile. Wow. You got, in other words, you gotta do something incredibly stupid to break that snake when I bite you. Exactly. <laughs> what are, yeah, seriously, what are you tasing it? How do you get to bite you? Alright, it's not easy. Yeah. And it has to be feeding response, basically. Rub your hand all over a road and get it, your pinky right there. Uh, even better, corn snake. Yeah. Oh. yeah, corn snake to these is like candy. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you had your corn snake and you got one of those in your house, wash your hands prior to getting that snake in your hands. Uh, <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> but they are beautiful animals. Wow, they are. Now, the uh, lance is when you don't want to run a handle without a hook. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't handle any of these without a hook. This uh, one, yes. These ones, no. Yeah. Although, I know the Mamba's notorious for going yeah, back up on itself. <laughs> well, you still need that hook. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's true though. If you hang it oh, up, yeah. it's going to go up its oh, yeah. body length oh, yeah. and get you there. It's way. totally different than having a rattlesnake. It's, what do you feed this guy? Uh, she eats rats. Oh, rats? Yep. Check it out. I've seen videos. I've seen videos. Uh, when I'm feeding him, he put live rat in there and he just strike it and then they leave it, the rat goes off the corner, dies, and the snake goes for it. She's eating baby rabbits. Oh, wow. he's, he's, not, he's not very picky. I don't know. Well, it's so funny how that almost closely resembles the uh, the copperhead almost. Well, yeah, the, the, shape, the head shape. Vipers. They're both pit vipers. Yeah. So they're within the same basic family. This looks like a, more of a, cop, of a copperhead. Kind of, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Close cousin or something. Yep, it is. <laughs> it is. And very hard to find on the jungle floor. If you're I wish. Paying. So probably really hard to find on the jungle floor. Yeah, that's right here. Right. Yeah. The only thing that makes them easy to find is they're prolific. They breed yeah. like crazy, tons of babies. That's where these come in. Yeah. She would eat the babies up all day long. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. These mambas are pretty. <laughs> if I had one of those, I wouldn't take that thing out of the cage whatsoever. I'd be like, yeah, you stay there. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. But I'm trying to explain to him, I said, if you wanted to get a, a viper, it's called a hot snake for a reason. <laughs> you get a permit for those. <laughs> you can't just... Yeah, if that got loose, that's an invasive species for this area. <laughs> Rattlesnake's all right. Rattlesnake's... It gets loose, they're gonna, they're gonna think less of it. They're like, nah, it's a rattlesnake. <laughs> I've seen a wild diamond bat. I saw a wild diamond bat in my uh, parents' yard one time. My reaction was because my parents had their dog out there, and the dog was messing around with it, and the snake was messing up, getting ready to strike at the dog. I was like, it's either my parents' dog or the snake. I had no choice. <laughs> I didn't want to kill it, but I had no choice. My little, plus, my little nephew was running around out in the yard, too. <laughs> so I had no choice. I was like, I don't want to kill the snake, but I don't have any way of, I don't have any experience in handling the animal and all that. So I pulled my nephew inside. I pulled the, I pulled the dog inside. The snake wasn't leaving. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, check out the cobra. Yeah. Very. Mm -hmm. Don't mess. <laughs> See one of those in the wild? Leave it. What? <laughs>
most of the time the snake will try to blend itself into the ground and let you just walk past. But if you gotta spear them, just back up. And but it'll give you a warning that it's there, you just listen to that tilt to the sound. We lived up in the bucket right in the bucket mountains. Yeah. So my dad took us all up there and he says, okay, here's one of the lessons you need to learn. He goes, never step over a log, step on it. He steps on it. Southern Louisiana, Midwest Viper. The yellow blue 
Pardon me? How high yellow bushes? How do you get? What's that? Makes you know what? You'll have to ask Allie. I'm not sure. I know it's probably a mix of with that one and another one. Yeah, I'm just helping. Definitely has the colors of that one mixed with something else to make the high yeah, yellow. Yeah, you can ask Allie. I think that's probably what it is. It's a high yellow mixed with the max snow to make the high yellow bushes. Hey, Allie. How do you uh, how do you produce those? Uh, she was actually brought into us by I don't think the guy that brought in brought her in hatched her. I know crazy. She's had eggs for me though. She's had one blizzard out of the six eggs. Huh. One was a blizzard. Look at that tail. She crazy. was brought in with her tail nipped and everything like that. Yeah, so that's um, a regrow. <laughs> he said yeah. He said that he ordered her off the line with this title, and I didn't believe it until she actually produced the blizzards. Yep. Just because she was a rescue daughter, she said I had her posted on Craigslist, and she lived in a tub this big her whole entire life with nothing in it, not even paper towels, no water bowl, no cow can. So we went and scooped her up, paid full price for her, and then she ended up breeding with the giant and had all normal yellows. There was one hypo from this boy, and then a blizzard. Just one little perfect baby blizzard. I was like, oh, <laughs> nice yeah. little surprise. Yeah, because what I have is a is I got a female one of these. And she's big. She's like, like this big. Her tail is like fat, perfect. I've had people complaining about the substrate I have her on. Sand. I have her on uh, half and half. I got like excavator clay on one side, and then a little bit of sand on the other side. But no bueno talking to the wrong person. Cause I'll give you crap for it too. <laughs> Everyone's giving you crap. It's probably not right, huh? Eh. Whatever though. These are fine. channel and I told people I'd be videotaping oh. <laughs> for YouTube but like video cameras SD card went out I had to go yeah, really yeah. Yeah. everything sold though we'll probably come back yeah in. all the good stuff is selling these ones these ones sell pretty quick too the little that one's just sold that's a nice one so nice dream how big does this one get right here look at big dude 
So like what? Well, it's a male. No, I, I, they, they, they stay in a ball. So a 20 gallon tank is usually fine. Yeah, they stay in their hut. They don't yeah. move around. Well, That's all they do is whoop and ball. They don't need a big tank. Yeah, me, me and my first reptile, so. Yeah, they don't need a big tank at all. So right now I got a berry and two dogs. Parrots are a lot no, of work. Parrot, parrot. Oh, parrot. Parrots are a lot of work. $1,500.
Avery. Car shows there and all that stuff, so a lot of vendors go there. Uh, although I think the guy did say also that if you come back here, it's going to be a different building. In, on the promises. No, I think already committed. You don't want to come back. Just... Yeah, I mean, because the people I'm... here are like the people that work for this place are ridiculous. Yeah. They don't know what the they don't do anything. Like they don't like their jobs here. So. Oh, come on. I just saw a guy in line. He was yelling at his kids, telling them, Go ask me the fire out there, we're gonna leave. He's just sitting there, like, not enthusiastic about being, being here and all that stuff. And I wanted to turn around and said, If you didn't want to come, if you didn't want to buy an animal or anything, then why'd you come to the Reptile Expo? <laughs> you don't come to the Reptile Expo not to buy Some anything. Some people come to, come to just check it out. It's yeah. different. I understand that, especially family. Saying, take me home. <laughs> That's what he said. Did he get used to you pretty quick, or did they get used to you pretty quick? Or? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're reptiles. They don't, they don't care if you don't recognize you. No. Uh, they don't. They don't, they don't, 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 don't like, you know, one thing you think about reptiles, Brett, is they don't like. No reptile likes being handled, but they can tolerate it. Exactly. They tolerate it. They tolerate it. And then they'll let you know when it's, they'll they're they'll let you know when they want you to let them go. They're gonna react. You know, if you act like you're afraid and your hands are shaking and stuff, that gets them all right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
like this. These are uh, Mexican red knees. <laughs> Those guys stay on the ground too. Yeah. They don't climb. They don't do anything. Yeah. Uh, Rose hair. Golden knee. Ooh, pretty small. The baby Little one. The baby. Oh, baby one. Yeah. Vineyard. Rose hair. I see that one. Yeah, we have a rose hair. Oh wow. Nice. So temperament. Which ones are more temperamental than others? So that's all. These, these two right here are not holding. This one's not temperamental, but it's very, very fast. All right. So it would run away. But it's beautiful. A little sun tiger, yeah, I see. Yeah, that's cool. This one looks like it's going to be a boy. Yeah. It's based on the color. Wow, it's so big. This one's almost always hiding. So this is like rarity you see it out. Felt like that. Actually, it might be a girl. <laughs> so it's cool that it's out right now. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Another ground. It's ground. Species. Yep. We got a few of these ones. Oh my god. That one's hiding Coming. in the burrow. I'll see it down there in the burrow. Yeah. They these dig. are all the same. So those ones oh, dig. <laughs> yeah, they. Well, all trash is kind of like to hide. Yeah. Yeah. They're not very social. I'd probably get one and put it in one of my 20 gallon tanks I have at home for that. I normally put my reptiles. Yeah, you can <laughs> when get I up, one. Hmm? When I upgrade my reptile cages and all that, I tend to always have one left over. Yeah. <laughs> right now I got a baby bearded dragon that's sitting in a 20 gallon, which I know when it gets bigger, I'm gonna have to put it in like a. 40 gallon at least. Mm -hmm. right, you could probably get away with doing a, a large, third, like a 30 gallon long, yeah. like a 30 long probably, if you don't want to do like a 40. Yeah. If I wanted to give it like the wide yeah. space and plus the long, ready yeah. for it to run in. Are those water dragons? These are actually green iguanas. Oh my lord. species that if you don't know what the heck you're doing then don't get it. <laughs> These ones can get a little temperamental if you don't spend time with them. Tail whipping. And Tail whipping and biting and stuff like that. But they make good pets if you spend time with them. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Well you got that big one in there. I'm surprised it's not picking on the little ones. Yeah I'm keeping an eye on it. Cause I got one just right now. It's, I got a sandfire yellow I got a sandfire yellow one of these. Little baby one. Yeah. And it's roughly about this size right now. About the size of that big guy right here. Oh, okay. That's a good size. What's in this? A yellow headed gecko. Huh? Yellow headed gecko. Oh, where is he at? He's right here. He's kind of uh, dark. Oh, uh, yeah. Our toe case. Or gargoyles. Huh? A lot of people don't know that the gargoyle and the crested all come from the same area. Yeah. Same place. Same exact identical pair too. Yep. That the gargoyle geckos live just higher up in the trees. Yeah. I didn't know that. They don't jump as much as the crested geckos do. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, I think they're lower, lower in the tree line. Maybe. I don't know. Because crested, they live right midsection of the tree. The larger species, like a big one. One or two, I think it's called the Blue Caledonian Giant Giant Gecko. That one stays up, up, up levels. And this guy, you're just a darling. Look at you guys. Oh, you oh, you're so cute. Oh my, this one's gonna get. But this is probably the Nile though. Looks like it got sold or Maybe. Did he sell it? Where's he at? Maybe he did sell it. It was just in here. Oh wait, no, this is the water monitor. That's the water? This is the Nile. Ah, there he is. Yeah, that's the Nile? This is the Nile, yeah. Yeah, he did. 
do some other different monitors. This is the water monitor? Yeah. Oh, these guys get so docile. These guys are like big puppy dogs. That's what yeah. Space he needs and all that. It's, like, it's all mine. <laughs> and he's about the size. Definitely a male. I knew it was a male because it's got the little, the little, bul the little bulgy things on the end of the tail. The females don't have that. And he's a mature male, so I'm looking at him like, I think you're a female. <laughs> But it needs to be the same size as him. Plus, if I remember correctly, you need to like, if I did get a female one and all that, I'd probably keep it in this thing when I put it in the cage, just let him crawl around and get the scent. And uh, let him be here and let, keep her in this thing for a few days. And then see if he's going to attack or do anything. Careful, they come. She's gonna jump on the tail, just don't catch her. Very cute. I'd say that's a Dalmatian more fun. No, it's a red Dalmatian. Your guys' lizards, they seem happier. Thank you. You know, 
Um, no, I'm does, serious. Well, we, uh, uh, does the reason why we this, you know, I, I lose a lot of money on this, and I don't consider losing it, because you guys want to win with this, but uh -huh. it makes me feel good that I am going to make the way this is Another Dalmatian. <laughs> That's cool. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. so cute. He's such a cutie, cutie, cutie. He's so cute. Oh, I always feed him this. I always feed my guys this. I'm trying to take it because it's the same thing. Well, I'll do that when I run out of crickets. <laughs> That's what I go. Oh, I'm out of crickets. Up there. Oh, I'm running low on crickets and I need them for more, for like my more insectivorous. Blizzards and all that, I'll say, okay, yeah. crickets right there. Thank God. I got a bearded dragon, so I'm like, thank God those things eat plants. Because <laughs> I have a leopard gecko with a Chinese water dragon, and those suckers only eat their insects. Yeah. Yeah. Although I heard, bearded, I heard water dragons will eat salad if you give them the right stuff. But, I've never, but the one I have never has. So. A little bit here. Not too keen on spiders though. <laughs> Unless because I always told my I always told my buddies I say hey, if you get a spider, I'm like, yeah, okay, if I got a spider, it'd never leave its cage. <laughs> it's like, you're cool, you're in there, you stay in there. <laughs> That's how I feel. And I did have a question on this one. This little guy right here, is he a I have a question on this one. Is this like a baboon spider or what is that? Gallus. Gallus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks like one of those flighty tree ones. <laughs> That's a regalus. Yeah. I mean, it looks like one of those ones that if you touch it, it would run away. It will. Yeah. Yeah. It's fast. Fast it's spider? Real fast. Yeah. Get your, no. You ever let him out? No. These ones you don't ever let out. I got lizards that eat, they eat insects, so I got lizards that eat, they eat bugs. Yeah. So, my lizards, if I saw a spider, let's get that thing to buy. Your lizards would eat that? Yes. Aww. It's amazing how these look just like a bearded dragon on those. <laughs> Slight head difference though. <laughs> Slightly head slight head difference on this. Yeah. Same area? They come from? No, they're uh, Reiki dragons. Yeah, I said, but do they come from like the same area that the beards would be found in or? Yeah, they're they're smaller than the beauty dragons. Yeah, smarter? Smaller than the beauty dragons. Smaller? Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. They have the same color. The same light, the same everything. They eat the same. So. Yeah. They just don't have the beer, so beer beer. Uh -huh. Oh, the walnuts. Yeah. Oh, good lord, I love the whole one. I've always wanted to see what a walnut. I've always wanted one of these. 200, dude. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Cause I see another walnuts there, like some of them have the dark. Yeah. Those are those are black Yeah. These are warmers. Yeah. They look pretty. Those are black hair tigers and these are Yeah. They look pretty. Yeah. Two hundred bucks. Oh my lord. You guys gonna be here in January? Uh maybe, yeah. Alright. Can I come check you guys out by then? Yeah. By then I might have an empty cage. <laughs> <laughs> What's the 
maximum cage size for these? Uh, like what size cage would I need to get? Probably like 40, 60 inches. Yeah, pretty big, pretty big, pretty big cage. Yeah. These guys are alright. These guys are like 20 gallon tanks. Yeah, 20 gallon tanks. They'll be fine. 20, 20 to 40 gallon I got mine set in the 40, so. 40, she's, 40. she's about this. My, uh, let me see here. Look at that picture of her. Okay, guys. So, did you guys really enjoy? Did you guys enjoy the uh, the trip to the uh, Reptile Expo today? Well, I hope you did. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, so, yeah, this is about the end of the video. So, uh, yeah, I'm back home now. Um, that actually ended about maybe five hours ago, but I I was uh, waiting until a little bit later. To, I had some errands to run, so uh, yeah. Now I'm uh, making the ending of the video. So, um, yeah. So once again, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the. Uh, the video of the uh, Reptile Expo, and uh, once again, it's Michael Davis, MCD Reptiles. Peace.